right okay so recovery models means the the behavior of the log file is it has to record each and everything once the transaction is completed it will send the particular uh, uh, record from your log file to data file once the record is sent to the data file that same transaction will be okay see guys let me tell you one thing okay so in the log file this is how it is going to store insert into okay any transaction is there insert into table name okay employee imagine the table name is employee insert into table name employee values okay one comma something like dhanunjay okay comma something uh, 50000 right right so 50000 so this is your transaction guys the complete okay this line you can say it is a transaction but when it is committed okay so the whole transaction will be stored inside in your log file your log file will record the transaction command okay when the transaction came at what time it came what is the date and time uh, what is that particular database on what database it is going to execute on what table it is going to insert whatever might be okay on what table it is going to perform the activity okay previous lsn each transaction will have lsn number previous lsn current lsn so everything everything it is going to store inside in your log file okay so whenever this transaction is committed only these records will be inserted into your data file okay the, this is the whole transaction right the whole thing will be stored inside in your log file whereas this is transaction and this is record guys whenever the transaction is committed then the record the the record now you cannot call it as a transaction the data file records will be there in the log file transactions will be there now you came to know the difference between record and transaction whenever you type a select star from table name you will get one dhanunjay 50000 you don't get insert into table name values guys got the point so when the transaction is committed the record the record will be moved to the data file permanently and once the record moved the whole transaction will be truncated from your log file guys this is the actual behavior of the log file this is the actual behavior of the log file any questions any doubts guys Any questions, any doubts? No, sir. Okay, done. Okay, so this is how it will work, guys. So this is the difference between a transaction and the record. Okay, so this is how your log file will behave. Right, what recovery model will do? It is going to change the behavior of the log file. The same thing will be there. It is going to change the behavior of the log file. How it is going to change, I'll tell you. Okay, so we have three recovery models, guys three recovery models okay actually four recovery models and you can call it as officially three recovery models are there one is full recovery important question important entry question second one is bulk log recovery model third one is simple recovery model okay full recovery model bulk log recovery model and simple recovery model guys so what it will do okay in full recovery model whatever we discussed your log file will behave like this only okay completely whatever we discussed till now that's the actual behavior of the full recovery model that's why if you see yesterday i gave you an assignment can you take the uh, full differential and log backups on the system databases actually for some system databases you can take it for some system databases you cannot take it how it will decide why we cannot take uh, full backup uh, why we cannot take log backup on some system databases there is a reason there is a reason guys so listen carefully so in the full recovery model if the database is in full recovery model it will it will record each and every transaction okay it will record each and every transaction and the log file won't be truncated automatically the log file won't be truncated automatically if the transactions are committed then only it will be truncated but if the transactions are not committed it won't be trun truncated automatically guys okay so listen carefully in the full recovery model whatever we discussed it will it will record each and everything about that particular transaction why it will record guys any reason why it will record 
white will record each and everything okay so for the safety purpose for example you are inserting 1 lakh transactions or imagine why 1 lakh let's go for 1000 transactions guys you are inserting 1000 transactions into the database 999 transactions are successfully inserted final one transaction is there okay during this suddenly the sql server is restarted guys what will happen what will happen guys so the mechanism how beautiful it is how design how they designed how microsoft designed the log file you know so they just whenever the server comes back right so you know right while sending the money if you are sending 1000 rupees to me there are two chances either it has to be completely successful or it has to be completely failed it's not like 500 rupees comes to my account and 500 rupees cannot transfer not like that right either it should be fully successful or fully failed in the same way whenever you are inserting any transactions all the transactions are fully completed or it won't be completed guys you got the point if you are inserting 1000 records all 1000 records should be fully completed or it won't commit all the records zero records it has to commit it's not like 10 records 20 records or 900 records it is going to commit so once power comes back it should have one query right that query will will rerun again if any record is not okay inserting the same query will rerun again that's why it will store that's why it is going to store that's why it is going to store okay in the log file if something happened again it has to okay again it has to copy if something happened again it has to copy again it has to rerun that same transaction this is a mechanism of the log file guys this is the mechanism of the log file this is how it will work usually okay this is how it will work usually so if something happened if it is not committed next time it has to run right so it has to remember right what transaction it has to run on what database i have to run it has to remember right so that's why it is going to track each and every transaction each and every point about the transaction so this is how the log file uh, this is how the log file behavior guys actual behavior is like this if the if the if the uh, database is in full recovery model if the database is in full recovery model okay if the database is in full recovery model this is how exactly it will work your log file will work like this it is going to write it is going to completely record each and every transaction whenever needed it is going to reuse the same transaction if the transaction something happened because of some issues like power failures or disk failures or someone is restarted the sql server it is going to reuse the same transaction that is called redo undo redo means again it is going to redo the same transaction when when guys when it is going to redo the same transaction if something happened then only it will redo the same transaction or undo the same transaction undo means it will cancel okay it will cancel the transaction and again it is going to redo the transaction guys to maintain the consistency on the database okay so in the full recovery model whatever we are discussing in the full recovery model the log file will record each and every transaction okay each and every transaction and details about the transaction it will record and log file won't be truncated automatically it won't be truncated automatically in the full recovery model so usually log file growth will be high why because it is going to store lot of things guys lot of things it, it is going to store so that's why not only a single transaction when this transaction came at what time it came on what database it executed on what table it was uh, executed okay what is the time stamp like um, what is lsn number previous lsn uh, current lsn lot of things like 108 attributes for one transaction it will store 108 attributes imagine for 100 transactions it will store 10800 transactions it will store 10800 details it will store okay so that's why if the if the if, if your database is in full recovery model your log file growth will be very high but once the transactions are committed then automatically your your log file will be truncated guys okay so it depends how the log file is going to be truncated in the full recovery model right so in the full recovery model one more important point is all the backups are possible all the backups are possible okay all the backups are possible full backup differential backup log backup copy only backup whatever backups are there all backups are possible okay in the full recovery model all the backups are possible so that is called pitr point in time recovery 
point in time recovery what is this point in time recovery guys recover your data sir. yes 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 sir okay so point in time recovery means recovering your database or recover your database till before it's it is corrupted a, a second before it is corrupted Imagine yesterday we discussed it right. Eight fourteen it was corrupted. We cannot recover eight fourteen. Why? Because at exactly eight fourteen it was corrupted. So we can recover at least a second before its corruption. Eight thirteen fifty nine seconds we can recover. How can we achieve that? By using full backup, differential backup, log backups, and tail log backup. In the full recovery model, we can take all the backups right. So that's why point in time recovery is possible in the full recovery model. Guys, any issues, any doubts? Please let me know. Okay, so if you have all the backups, point in time recovery is possible. Okay, so I I'll explain about the bulk log recovery model, bulk log recovery model, and simple recovery model, guys. In case of any questions, you can ask me, and you will get a clarity, right? The same thing, same thing in the bulk log recovery model, guys. What will happen? I'll tell you. So bulk log recovery model is also one kind of full recovery model only. Bulk log recovery model is also one kind of full recovery model only, but small difference is there. If normal transactions are there like this, it will behave like a full recovery model. Okay. If any bulk operations are there, if any bulk operations are there, all the bulk operations are minimally logged. Means, guys, this is called fully logged. Fully logged means what? writing the complete details in the log file is called fully logged guys give me 2 minutes i'll be back Okay, so fully logged means what, guys? Fully logged means writing each and everything in the log file is called fully logged. Minimally logged means what? Writing the basic details about the transaction. Bulk inserts very huge in size, right? If you write each and everything again, it has to store one not eight properties of each transaction. Imagine ten lakh transactions are there in the bulk inserts. Okay, ten lakh into one not eight properties. How many, guys? Ten lakh into one lot, one not eight properties. Ten lakhs into one not eight guys. You cannot even imagine. Very big number, right? So that much of okay details are going to be stored in your log file. So log file growth you cannot control. So that's why what we are going to do. Okay, one minute, guys. Okay, so that many details it is going to store. It is very huge in size, so which cannot control the log file growth. So it is going to consume the whole drive, the log file in which drive you are storing your log file. It is going to consume the whole drive, guys. So which creates your database went to offline. That's why all the bulk operations are minimally logged. Means only basic details you can store. If you are going to store the basic details, okay. So what happened, guys? if you are going to store the basic details so you cannot recover it 
okay if you if you going to store uh, minimal details so basic details you cannot recover the transaction so in the bulk log recovery model all backups are not possible log, especially log backups are not possible okay so if log backups are not possible right what happened guys if the log backups are not possible okay point in time recovery is not possible point in time recovery is possible only if you have all the backups okay if you don't have all the backups point in time recovery is not possible point in time recovery means what guys recover the database till the point before it is corrupted if the database is corrupted at 8:30 recovering till at least 8:29 8:29 8, 59 seconds till before a second guys how can we achieve we can achieve using your full differential log backups and tail log backups so but in the uh, what is that bulk log recovery model in the bulk log recovery model tell me guys point in time recovery possible or not possible if there is a bulk log there is no possible sir there is no possible okay so guys see a small point you have to we have to remember small point it will behave like a full recovery model if there are no bulk operations agree it will behave like a full recovery model if there are no bulk operations is it clear if there are no bulk operations it will behave like a full recovery model is this yes, point sir. clear right yes. so it will behave like a full recovery model means point in time recovery is possible or not possible in the full recovery model possible possible, possible right possible. the answer is possible. yes the answer is yes and no when it is yes if there are no bulk operations point in time recovery is possible per bulk log recovery model okay if there are no bulk uh, sorry if the if there are bulk operations point in time recovery is not possible why because all the bulk operations are minimally logged right so let me let me phrase it guys if there are no bulk operations point in time recovery is possible if there are bulk operations point in time recovery is not possible guys clear why because yes. all bulk operations are minimally logged so it can't store all the details about the transactions so that's why log backup is not possible if the log backup is not possible okay there is no point in time recovery so log backup is possible in the bulk log recovery model is the, the same point i'll i'll ask in a different way can we take the log backup in the bulk log recovery model same yes sir if it yes. is yes, sir. Uh, we, there we are no, no bulk up correct no sir If there are no bulk operations we can take sir if it is bulk operation we can't pass it not that's possible it. that's it that's why if there is no log backup that's why point in time recovery is not possible in the bulk log recovery model is it clear guys there is no confusion very simple guys okay so in the full recovery model point in time recovery is possible in the full recovery model all the backups are possible so that's why point in time recovery is possible in the bulk log recovery model yes if there are no bulk operations it will behave like a same full recovery model database if there are bulk operations okay all the bulk operations are minimally logged so log backup is not possible so point in time recovery is not possible is it clear guys yes sir right so sir, if if there are there are no bulk logged uh, means then we can use that uh, full recovery model right sir that's what see instead of the instead of that mostly, we can do yeah, yeah mostly we don't use this bulk log recovery model but sometimes customers will users will ask us hey can you i am going to perform a bulk operation so the log file will be will grow like anything so please uh, control the log file growth keep changing your uh, recovery model from full to bulk log so that you can control the log file growth if you don't control the log file growth what will happen guys in which drive your log file is there the drive is going to consume completely there will be no free space if there is no free space in the log file what happened your application won't work so that's why for safer side application team or developers will ping us and they will ask us to change the bulk log recovery model once we change it to bulk log recovery model then the log file growth will be in control guys so that they can perform bulk operations got the point okay sir right so we mostly we don't use it but this is the usage of the bulk log recovery model database 
okay in simple recovery in some cases only in some in cases, some cases only. only when, when it is required cases. mostly in full or simple only 90% your database recovery models will be in full recovery model only guys 90% your database recovery model should be full only 10% simple only 10% simple or 9% simple 1% rarely you can see bulk log recovery model databases okay the interview question is point in time recovery is possible or not possible in the bulk log recovery model that is the interview question okay the answer is possible if there are no bulk operations not possible if there are bulk operations that's it if you if you don't understand whatever we discuss it till now this is the short answer guys okay just a one line answer right simple recovery model in simple recovery model also it will record each and everything your log file it means what your log file will record log file will record each and every transaction but but in a regular intervals your log file will be truncated automatically okay so what is the disadvantage with the simple recovery model guys your log file will keep truncating guys your log file will keep truncating automatically if you don't want to grow your log file you can keep the database in the a simple recovery model so what happened your log file will keep truncating do you know when it will be truncated automatically every 60 seconds when the checkpoint runs the log file will be truncated when checkpoint runs log file will be truncated when checkpoint runs usually in the organization automatic checkpoint will runs for every 1 minute 60 seconds guys okay so every 60 seconds your log file will be truncated means every every 60 seconds your log file will be erased so how can you take the log backups every one minute if your log file is clearing what data will be stored in the log file then how you can take the log backups so log backups are not possible in the sim not at all possible in the full log backups are possible in the bulk logged yes possible if there are no bulk operations no not possible if there are bulk operations in the simple log backups are not at all possible so point in time recovery is not at all possible in the if, if there are no log backups we cannot achieve point in time recovery so point in time recovery is not possible in the simple recovery model guys so if you see your system databases okay some of the system databases in simple recovery model guys so how can you check it you can check each and every system database or else you can use one query sp_helpdb it will tell you okay the recovery model of the database also okay if you expand you can see okay so if you see here or else let me go with like this select star from sister databases okay here in one column you can see recovery model yes recovery model description okay so let me drag this column or what we can do select name comma select right. yeah sir these many columns are lot of columns are there how can we filter this i just want to see database name and name recovery and model name comma recovery model that's it instead of select. star what i'm going to do guys select name, name comma. comma recovery model description recovery model under recovery under yes, no, yes sir. description okay yeah. description dsc means description guys right so i can see only two columns now the database name and the recovery model see here master is in simple that's why you cannot take log backups on master database temp db of course you cannot take any perform full your model is in full recovery model that's why you can take all the backups on model database guys on model database you can perform full like on model database you can perform uh, what is that uh, differential backups on model database you can perform log backups okay so the msdb recovery model is simple only full recover full day full backups are possible guys okay so you can see here use all the user databases by default it will be in full recovery model but 
okay 99 percentage it will be in full recovery model only maybe in one or two percentage it will be in simple recovery model if the, if it is in simple recovery model you cannot take the log backup so in the database where i can see the recovery model guys go to the database properties okay there you can see options you options, can see sir. here guys okay recovery model you can change recovery model from here full to bulk log you want to change you can change it bulk log to simple you want to change you can change it so this is how you can change the recovery model guys now i just changed the recovery model of the employee earlier you can see full okay now if i execute you can see simple recovery model okay so this is how we have to check the recovery model we have to change the recovery model guys right clear any issues any doubts please simply okay your your log file your recovery model means it is going to control the behavior of the log file guys if your database recovery model is full your log file will behave differently if your database recovery model is bulk logged your database uh, your uh, log file will behave differently if your recovery model is simple your log file will behave differently guys 90% no one will choose simple that to in the production server why because in the simple data loss might be there so that's why we don't choose simple 90% we don't choose simple but again it depends upon the okay customer requirement if the developer is asking please keep it in simple we'll keep it in simple only we don't have any issues clear on recovery models what is the recovery model and all is it clear sir if it is in sim if it is in full uh, recovery model uh, th there may be a chance uh, the log uh, file will be full right sir I did not get you if if uh, if recovery model is in full okay. there may be a chance uh, log files can be like uh, full right sir i mean uh, uh, oh. full transactions uh, log file full avadan chances unnai guys sir yeah that's what in the log, in the, in the full recovery mode uh, uh, then we'll get alerts okay we'll keep, okay. we'll we'll, we'll uh, set up alerts okay in case if my log file is more than 90 percentage we'll directly get an alert to our outlook Okay. okay then we'll go to that particular server we'll check the database and we'll troubleshoot that issue why the log file is full okay so accordingly based on the situation we are going to uh, take the decision sometimes we have to shrink the log file guys okay, okay. we have to shrink the log file to control the uh, to reclaim the free space to reclaim the free space we have to shrink the log file okay okay but we'll set up an alerts why because it's very important thousands of databases we are going to maintain okay if any database log file is full it cannot means it simply if you close your door can i come to you into your house no right it's not possible so in the same way if the log file is completely full or else simply i'll go in this example in the room 100 persons are there now there is no space to enter into the room can anyone enter into that particular room you know right how trains will be there for sankranti agree even though we have reservation even though we have reservation in third ac or first ac second ac we can't even enter into the train itself that much that much rush will be there not even a single person can't go inside that particular uh, train in the same way once the log file is full no transaction cannot be inserted into the log file so if the transactions are not going to be uh, not inserted into the log file your database will be full and your application will be stopped your application won't work why because what is the application duty it has to read the data from the database it has to write the data to the database if it, it is not accepting itself how can we okay insert the records so that's why if the log file is full your application will stop working guys okay is it clear so in the organization how we are going to maintain will have a setup of uh, alerts guys in case of any log file is full or going not we don't wait till the log file is full once the log file is reaches 90 percentage means 100 gb if log file reaches 90 gb we will immediately get an alert so we have a time to check 10 gb free space is there we have a time to troubleshoot we'll troubleshoot the issue immediately so that you can create a free space in the log file so that your application will work smoothly guys any issues in the recovery models please shrinking is there any other option to minimize the log time you can change it to log uh, simple recovery model if you are okay with the data loss okay 
if you are okay if the customer is okay but no one will uh, go with the data loss right so but there is a way to control the log file growth you can change the recovery model from full to simple but that is not a perfect solution that is the last solution we have so it's going to truncate only sunday to sunday doing full day whatever records are there whatever records are there in the particular log file not sunday to sunday if already those records are truncated how can you come it won't depends on your backups guys whatever transactions are there inside in your log file it will truncate okay is it clear any issues any doubts in the recovery models uh, sir i have a doubt sir please, please. Uh, so uh, uh, my database is uh, is in, uh, not for uh, transaction sir and we are not going to insert any transaction in particular database mm -hmm. you are using that re reading purpose only you are uh, getting i mean we are going to select uh, that database that time you can use that simple right recovery model no, no not like that see see in case if that okay. is the case keep the database in read only mode okay, okay? so it's not like so i'll use only select query so i'll change the recovery model to simple i'll use insert query again i'll change it to full you cannot do like that okay you cannot switch like that once you are decided once your application team is decided okay you have to go with that recovery model only i'll use only select query so i'll go with the simple recovery model not like that don't treat in that way i just explained you to just uh, you will get an idea that's it okay you might you might use in a different way select queries but some maintenance uh, operations will be there agree index rebuilding reorganizes operations will be there regularly so that is an insert operation that is a write operation then how can you keep in a simple recovery model it will create problem right okay so it's yes, not yes. depends upon your requirement it's completely depends upon your application requirement they will tell us okay what recovery model and all so based on that you can go for 90% i told you right 95% or 98% all the databases will be in full recovery model only okay guys any questions any doubts any issues and whenever you change the recovery model you have to take the backup guys whenever you change the recovery model you have to take the full backup then only it will detect the new recovery model no need to restart the sql server once i changed my recovery now if you see employee recovery model i just changed it from full to simple right so now i have to take the uh, full backup on this database otherwise it don't detect the new recovery model okay otherwise it don't detect the it will show you like that but it it is not exactly a simple recovery model database when it will be converted into simple recovery model database once you took full backup on this database then the new recovery model will be applied applied guys okay that is called your particular pseudo simple recovery model pseudo pseudo means what it's a feeling right pseudo simple recovery model okay what is the meaning of this pseudo simple recovery model guys whenever you change the recovery model you have to take the full backup until you took the full backup it will behave like it is an old recovery model you just changed the recovery model from full to simple you have to take a full backup until then it will behave like a full back, full recovery model database only you just change the recovery model from simple to full any recovery model to any recovery model you have to take a full backup guys any recovery model to any recovery once you change the recovery model okay you have to take a full backup if you don't take it until you took the full backup it will behave like a pseudo simple recovery model means it is in the old recovery model database means that it, the settings won't be applied permanently the state is called pseudo simple recovery model is it clear guys any issues any doubts sir so this point we should aware and we take the full backup before yes, go yes. to change after that. after change the recovery model it's your responsibility to to change the uh, to take the full backup because we don't get any alert like while changing that uh, yes. recovery model so you can you can set alerts also you can set alerts also okay but usually okay what happened uh, usually uh, we have to take a full backup 90% no one will set alerts but uh, 90% uh, it will be in full recovery model only right but uh, it's our responsibility once you got a task hey can you please change the recovery model of this database then you have to change it and you have to take the full backup guys okay so any questions any doubts please no doubts 
guys is it clear or not clear Yes, correct. If you change the recovery model, every time you have to take a full backup, not all the backups. Guys, if you don't understand anything, there are three bullet points. We have three recovery models: full, bulk logger, simple. In the full, all the backups are possible. Okay, point in time recovery is possible. In the bulk logger, all the backups are not possible. so depends if there are no bulk operations all the backups are possible so point in time recovery is possible if there are bulk operations all the backups are not possible so there is no point in time recovery in the bulk log recovery model and in the sir, simple recovery model, model, check just now, yes yes it will do it automatically we don't do anything okay we don't do anything it will do it automatically right and third one simple recovery model in the simple recovery model all the transactions are fully logged but in a regular intervals your particular log file will be truncated regular intervals means whenever checkpoint runs okay whenever you took the backup so in all these cases okay your your log file will be truncated so every 60 seconds the log file will be truncated so nothing is there we can take the backup if then if nothing is there in the log file to take the backup so how can we take the log backup for every 60 seconds the log file is truncating so it's not possible to take the log backups right so if there is no possibility of log backups point in time recovery is not possible and whenever you change the recovery model you have to take the full uh, you have to take the full backup to apply the new recovery model these are the four important bullet points guys whatever we discussed since one hour Uh, this is the main uh, main bullet points of this topic is it clear any issues any doubts please please reconnect again guys